we kick off the sensational seven countdown in the class 1A sectional softball game where the Canton Lady Tigers are looking to get over the hump against the good Plata squad. In that game, it was Macy Glasgow who brought the excitement. She squared this pitch up and sends it over the fence, which indeed set the tone for the rest of the game in which the Tigers dominated from start to finish. We stick with softball action at number six. This time, the Bowling Green Bobcats trying to punch their ticket to state against Father Tolton. With the game scoreless at this point, Avery Gamma is gonna get the party started with a solo shot to right field to put BG on the board and things would only get better from there. That set the tone in what would be a 3-0 win, sending the Bobcats down to Springfield. Let's do some Thursday night football to number five spot this week. The Brown County Hornets were looking for lucky win number five to become playoff eligible and I'll tell you what, they had plenty of offense, but there was also plenty of Kobe Ward on the defensive side. Check him out here, tipping this pass out of the air and coming away with the interception. Great step from him and a big 50-14 win to secure their spot in the playoffs. The Macy Glasgow home run was great, but this play was even better. She feels this ball hit down the first base line, tags the runner heading to first, and throws a dart to home plate to complete the 3-2 double play, and in the grand scheme of things, shut down the Bulldogs offense. Leo Can has been on a tear the second half of the season, and it continued in the postseason. In the sectional semifinal game, check out this run. The takeaway, the pass to Tanner Anderson, and by the way, beautiful cross from him to set up Can for the header goal. Good stuff right there as the Raiders will go on to win and remain red hot. At number two, let's do some bomber football. Yeah, we all know JT Jeter is an electrifying receiver, but I mean, come on, this catch against the line out west is flat out different. Check him out, going up over the defender, making the catch and hanging on to it. I believe they call that something like getting mossed. What a catch that was from Jeter, continuing to provide that wow factor. But the top spot this week comes from right here in the Gym City and what a crazy one it was. The Blue Devils found themselves down 28-0 at one point in this game, but they would not go away. You talk about a game changer, how about Corey Fletcher with a one-armed interception to give Quincy High all the momentum in this one. This play is what turned everything around for Rick Little's team, helping them to come back to defeat Rock Island. What a comeback and what a catch, which is why he has earned top spot this week, Sensational 7 style. 